Hey, what's up, you guys? I am back uh, with a quick little impromptu video about the Lisa Richards situation. So I had gotten some questions and things like that, uh, some comments, and it made me want to kind of come and talk a little more about why I feel like I should talk about this. So <clears throat> we're going to do that. I was watching some stuff tonight that just triggered some things and really had me thinking about it all. And I want to come at this in a, a different way. Um, so I want to show compassion and empathy, but also not be enabling or promoting <laughs> because that does not help. However, as I'm watching these things, like when I watched Lisa tonight on the side of the road at her dad's pleading for help, and then somebody come up on her, I just, I remember, I remember myself at that point in time. And as I've said, I'm a recovering addict. For those who are new and don't know, my name is Tracy. I'm a recovering addict. And when I watch these lives she does, it kind of sends me back in time, but for a different reason. Because there was never a point where I actually looked like I was sick like that. Um during my active addiction, you wouldn't have known that I was spending $800 a day on Oxy. Uh, you would have never known. I'm going to show you. This uh, first picture, well, hold on. I'll show you. Okay, I'm trying to cover my niece, but this was me three weeks before I decided to get clean. I was in total withdrawal. I was so sick. We were out of town, nine hours away. And this, we were getting ready to leave. I could not wait to get home because I was sick. I was sick, sick. I was a little tan because Georgia Sun girl. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was me several weeks before I decided to get my shit together. This was me the week before and when I wrecked my car. This is where I wrecked my car in an empty parking lot because I was out trying to find spots and because I hadn't had anything, I was sick. I had gotten it. I was driving through the parking lot. I don't know what I did. I hit my head really hard. I had dislocated my ribs from my sternum because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. I was driving around in circles around this parking lot and I hit this light pole, the concrete barrier around this light pole. I hit it head on. And when I did that, I was doing, I went, it was slow, but slow hitting that is, is hard. And my entire body went forward. My head went up into the windshield. I hit the um, steering wheel. When I came back, it, my head hit the window here and it ripped my hair out. And uh, yeah, that's what happened there. This was what my car looked like after. Doesn't look too bad there considering but yeah that was my head-on collision and part of the reason like there were so many things this is me the very day i started mat treatment that's yeah that was me so when i see lisa and i look back at myself during these times and i hear her pleading and begging for somebody to help her she, she, it triggers me because I think to myself, even though I wasn't outwardly doing that, I wasn't begging and pleading for people or demanding people give me anything. I was not a good person. I didn't look super sick like that. You wouldn't have known it. Nobody did. Not nobody in my family, not even my husband. And it was one of the most difficult times of my life. But although I didn't look like that on the outside, that is exactly what I was doing on the inside. And I did bad things. I 
I hurt people. I used people. It was awful. I remember I would sit every Wednesday at 11.50 a.m. I was leaving to go to the bank because I knew at 12.01 p.m. paycheck hit and I would be sitting in that parking lot waiting until that time. I would then pull into the ATM at 11.59, get my stuff out, get my card out, watch my phone, and as soon as that thing went ding, the card was already in the ATM and I was taking the money out. And I was heading straight to uh, the rug dealer's house to get what I needed and pay off my $2,000 debt from the week before. So when I watch her, when I see that, it sends me back to all of that and how desperate I was when I wanted this stuff. I would lie. I would steal it. I would do whatever I had to do to get what I needed. And I'm not proud of it at all. And I know that she's not proud of what she's doing. But I also know that at that point in time, I never, I, I didn't see the future. I didn't see what I could have. Now I do. So I'm sure she doesn't see it. She doesn't know what she could have if she just submitted to everything that, you know, all of this. It, it's, she's going to hit this rock bottom at some point and unfortunately I think for her rock bottom is death and I don't want to see that she's a person and I know that if everyone had given up on me I wouldn't be here today I just think that there is there's some way somehow some at some point she's going to come to a realization that she doesn't want to do this anymore and there's help waiting literally waiting for her to make that choice we can't force her we can't pressure her if she doesn't do it on her own she's not gonna it's not gonna work and short term is not what she needs she or even Matt she needs in a long-term care facility she needs taken in she needs all the medical stuff you know all of it she needs it all and I really hope that working on this video I'm working on I really hope maybe if it doesn't help her it helps somebody else but who knows what the domino effect could be but if I could share what I know you know my what I relate to how I overcame it, other people overcame it, and these resources, I, I, I truly hope that maybe it triggers that in her, what was triggered in me. Maybe, who knows, maybe she'll never see it, maybe it, who knows what could happen, but if I can try, then I should, because I know that had everybody known what I was doing in my situation, I would have had help. I'd have had support and I would have had people who care about me. And these strangers online do not care about her. And I don't know why she thinks that works. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and say a little bit of this and explain it. And hopefully, uh, that it, you know, answers some questions and, and lets everyone know kind of what my plan is. So yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, I will talk to you guys next time. She got pretty eyes. Smile so